Their portal includes its own PSC simulator called PSC Sim that loads the simulation of a large range of applications. As you know, one of the significant changes of V18 is this PSC Sim with a new appearance that has totally changed from the previous version. So today I would like to talk about this PSC Sim and how to simulate our program in a TIA portal V18. We will also learn how to use PSC Sim Advanced as another tool to simulate a PLC. Open the TIA portal and create a project. This can take a little bit. The first thing that I will do here is I'll add a new device. A catalog will be open to choose from. I'm going to choose one of these S7-1200 uh, as our CPU. CPU will be added to our system. This dialog wants you to use a password for the CPU to secure the system. If you don't need a password, then uncheck here. Press finish. Let's make a simple program. Open the main program from the program blocks. I want to turn on and off an output with two buttons. So I'm going to use a normally open contact here and the coil as the output. I add also a contact with the address of internal memory parallel to this part. Let's call the buttons PB1 and PB2. And output. Click on the CPU and then compile the program to see if it has a problem. We forgot to deactivate the password for the CPU. If you want to predict the CPU, you can define a password here. Again, compile the program. We don't have any errors. Now, instead of downloading the program to a real physical PLC, we can simulate it. To do that, click on this icon, Start Simulation. The dialog asks, do you want to enable simulation in your project? Yes, I do. This one says, if we start the simulation, other Ethernet connections between the TIA portal and your PLC will be disabled. The new PLC SIM will open and the window from TIA to connect to the PLC SIM. At first, you will see the workspaces. The default workspace is created automatically. You can create a new workspace using this button or open a workspace from a specific path in your windows. Here you see the CPU list and type of your communication. Simulation table to change the value of the variables and even to simulate some events like hardware and diagnostic errors or bees. What we need to do now, go back to the TIA and press connect. TIA will connect to the PSC SIM. Press now load to load the program into the simulated PLC. Put the PLC in run mode and then finish. Start monitoring. Be careful, in this case, TIA portal will automatically choose the interface and setting to connect to the PSC SIM. If we turn off the PSC SIM, we have to do it manually and download the program like what we do with a real PSC. Except that here we select PSC SIM as the interface. I'm going to turn on the PSC SIM again.
Here I could connect to the PS stream as soon as it is powered. Start search to find the virtual PSC. And then load. As you know, we can change the IOs in different ways. One of them is right click on here and modify the tags to one or zero. But for now, it's not working because we have simulated PLC. And here is reading the signal from a simulated module. This input has currently a zero or false value inside the PLC, so we cannot change it. But as you know, the way to control the tags is using PLC sim. Click on this icon here and create a new sim table using this sign here. I'm going to add a row. Like what we have in tag tables, write the name of the tags. Or here we can write the address. These tags are all a boolean variable. We can also add the tags automatically. I'm going to delete the tags. Open properties and select the type of the tags that you want to add. Then click on load selected tags. Maybe you need to add uh, not all the tags. In this case, click on tab tags and check the instance. Click on the tags that you want to add to the table. Be careful if your table is not in run mode, you cannot write here any value. At first you will see the initial values that are all false. Now let's uh, change the values of the tags. I'm going to modify pb1 as true, so I type 1 here. Press enter. You see pb1 has now the value of true. And also the output is true. Type 0 or false to make its value again 0. Let's change pp2. We can even add another tag table and change the tags using different tables. I can change pb1 from two tag tables. Or if you want, you can delete the tables from the tab properties. Here we can choose what to show. For example, if you don't want to show a name or comment, uncheck it here. And also we can add another PLC, but it's possible to run just two PLCs at the same time. Alright, that was how we can use PLC sim in V18 to simulate our PLC. But we have also another option to simulate a PLC. It's PLC sim advanced. It will be installed with the TIA Portal V18 package. I'm going to open it. An important thing about PSC Sim Advance is that with this PSC Sim we cannot simulate 1200 PSCs. If you open here and PSC Family, you see we can choose just uh, 1500 and ET 200 series. So I'm going to add another PSC of 1500 to our TIA program. Do not forget to give full access. 
or write a password for PSC. I'm going to copy this network. Define the tags. Before using PSSM Advanced, make sure you have activated the access of PSC simulation to the TIA program. It will be activated when we want to use a normal PSSM because if you remember with the pop-up window, TIA asked us to activate it. But if it's not activated, click on Project and Properties. Go Protection tab and make sure this option is checked. With PSSM Advanced like PSSM V18, we have two options of operating mode. The PSSM mode is like what we did with the PSSM V18. It's an internal uh, communication inside the PC with the TIA portal. In this mode, we cannot communicate with a real PSC using an Ethernet adapter. But with TCP IP mode, we can use this PSSM like a real PSC and communicate with another physical PSC through Ethernet protocol. This time, let's use a TCP IP mode. With the virtual adapter activated, you have two options available. Local that uh, does not allow communication with the real Ethernet network and Ethernet that allows communication with a real Ethernet device. Here we don't communicate with a real uh, PSC using Ethernet, so I choose local. Virtual time scaling can make your virtual uh, PSC slower or faster. When you start PSC Sim Advanced, the virtual system time of the virtual controller starts with the system time of your windows. The virtual system time is based on the virtual clock. So if a scaling factor is used, the system time runs faster or slower. Here we can disable the overrun detection for motion control with OP91. When the checkbox is selected, overruns are detected. Uh, if it seems a little bit complicated for you, it's okay. A strict motion timing is in advanced level. We don't need this feature currently. Now you have to specify a name for this simulation. It can be any name. Write the IP address of the PSC. You can find it in the hardware configuration. Default gateway we don't need. Our PSC is from 1500 family. Click on start. Go back to the TIA and download our program. Do not start the simulation. We use TCP IP mode, so our PSC is like a real physical PSC. Use download to the device. This time we should select Siemens virtual PSC adapter as the interface. If TIA could not find the virtual PSC, check the IP address of your Ethernet adapter. They should be in the same range.
Load the program to the PSCM Advanced. Here you see the PSC is in run mode and here turn on and off or delete the PSC. Then we have additional settings like the runtime manager port that allows you to open a port for direct communication between different runtime managers. And the virtual semantic memory card allows you to define a folder as the content of the memory card of the simulated PSC. These are not important for our level. One of the disadvantages of PSCSIM Advance is that it's not possible like PSCSIM to create a tag table and change the values. We can just force the values from the force table inside the TR portal. If you need to change tags, use PSCSIM V18. Let's create a new workspace. Create a folder to save the data. To open it, click on Action. The icons of PSC and SIM table will appear. Add the PSC. Like PSC SIM Advanced, select TCP IP mode and Local. Then from properties, select advanced for license type. Turn on the PSC. For advanced mode, we need to buy another license. As you see, I'm also using 21 days trial license. Write IP and subnet mask. Download the program. With the SIM table, change the tag value. Why we use the PSCSIM Advance is that with this PSCSIM we can simulate 16 PSCs and make communication between them with other types of communication like OPC UA. But with PSCSIM V18 it's uh, limited to just two PSCs. Alright, that was a video about two PSC simulator in TR Portal V18. I hope this was helpful for you and you could use it if you don't have a real PSC. See you next video, friends. Bye.